it's Cindy and welcome back to my channel. Uh, today's video is a bit different, it's my first one back and uh, I'm going to be telling you why I've been away for six months and I haven't made a single video in all that time, which was true until yesterday when I made a video on my computer and edited it and it was all ready to go and it was called I had an accident but now I'm back <laughs> and unfortunately my computer now has the black screen death and won't even turn on and I don't know what's going on. I tried to stream live to get this out to you and apparently I don't have the right requirements on YouTube to stream live from my mobile. So here I am making a video all in one go with no edits and I'm just going to put it up so that you know what's been going on. And so in this video I will be sharing with you what stopped me from making videos uh, clues in the title I guess, I had a, some kind of weird accident. Uh, I'm going to uh, tell you what the current situation is and what we're going to be doing and also go into the future of my channel and what I plan to do with it. And uh, just to prove that I really did make this video yesterday, here are my notes which I just had to get back out of the bin. So isn't that fun? So if you want to find out what exactly I did to myself that stopped me from recording for six whole months then just keep watching. <laughs> So no logo coming in, nothing I can do about it, we're just going to move on. So in the first part I'm going to talk about what stopped me and one of the things that stopped me was in October last year, which is when I posted last, I think it was October, um, I'd, I'd been uh, struggling with asthma for about a year by then uh, so it, and it has continued so I was just basically exhausted. I was trying my best to keep up with my uh, posting schedule of every Wednesday uh, but I get quite out of breath and um, my ch chest gets tight, especially when I'm talking a lot, which is not ideal when you're making videos. So I was having to do lots of editing to take out little breaks and um, uh, <laughs> having to stop to breathe and stuff like that. So uh, it was it was just getting a lot and I couldn't cope with it on top of my, you know, looking after my coaching clients, uh, going networking and all that kind of stuff that needs to happen, marketing and whatnot. So it was getting a bit much. Anyway, I had just uh, on the 20th, so that was, um, uh, I can see the videos like lagging, nothing I can do about it, it's going up and that's it. So <laughs> I, uh, please, I apologise for the quality, please just uh, stay for the content. So uh, on the 23rd of November, I had uh, an accident. I was walking back from a networking that I go to on Friday mornings called Laptop Friday in Cheltenham Town Centre. I was walking back to the car park and just out of the blue, my Achilles just snapped on my left foot. So my left ankle just gave way. Uh, I had no idea what had happened. I just hit the ground, a uh, head, a face planted, had a bruise on my head across here, um, and I landed really heavily on my knee. And at the time I didn't realise it, but I'd actually fractured my kneecap as well. Well, I didn't know I'd I didn't know I'd ruptured my Achilles, I just thought I'd uh, sprained my ankle. So I got carted off to hospital in an ambulance and eventually they told me this diagnosis that I'd got these two serious injuries, one on each leg, and no I wouldn't be going home, I'd be staying in hospital for a bit, and no I wouldn't be up on crutches for quite a while. Which was quite a shock as you can imagine. So uh, I had 10 days in hospital, they released me home to, uh, I had a hospital bed, uh, in my dining room so my husband had to clear out the dining table and everything. I had a commode, I uh, couldn't get to the downstairs toilet and I just had to live in my dining room for um, several months and it was not easy. I was in a wheelchair with one leg stuck out straight for a few weeks and the other one non-weight bearing so you could hard going and uh, generally it was not a fun time. So uh, as a result, obviously I couldn't get upstairs here to my office and I could have filmed on my camera, of course, on my phone, but I was feeling really rough. Uh, at the time I had a chest infection as well, thanks to the asthma and uh, things were not great. And uh, I stayed remarkably cheerful, although I definitely had my down days, especially if anyone was nice to me and told me how well I was doing, then I really used to get the wobbly lip and uh, start to go. So uh, it was not a great time, so it was really hard to uh, think, even think about making videos. And then also, I was having some technical problems with my previous computer, which were making a lot of my videos laggy so that audio was out of sync, which was really annoying and it just wasn't up to the job so I ordered a new one but that came when I was in hospital and then so there was a whole thing. So all of that meant that I just couldn't film any videos for you guys, I couldn't put any content up but I was thinking about it quite a lot and, and wanting to do it. 
I just uh, wasn't able to. So um, not about, I think it was six weeks after the accident, I was able to get upstairs and have my first shower which was amazing and in my original video that I filmed yesterday I did say you know this is it, I was, I'm so grateful um, now that every morning when I have a shower and if you have a shower every morning just be so grateful for that it's just a tiny thing but when you can't have one for six weeks or seven weeks however long it was my goodness when you have that first shower it's amazing uh, I was just having a strip wash every day and you know I was clean but it's not the same it's just not the same so every time you have the, have a shower, think about uh, how amazing it is that you can just step in there and turn on water and it runs all over you and you can get clean and it feels great. Oh, so grateful for that. Uh, so, uh, yeah, so I'm I'm so moving on to the current situation. I'm now able to get upstairs. I can uh, film on my computer, except now it's dead. So I, who knows what's going to happen with that? I'm currently working on sorting that out. Um, I'm still recovering from my injuries. They told me nine to 12 months and I didn't believe them, but it turns out they were po probably right. It's taking quite a while. Um, my physio is very happy with me. I'm having physio. Uh, when I say having physio, I see the physio and she gives me exercises that I have to do in my own time. But she's very pleased with me and says that I'm ahead of schedule in terms of recovery from my Achilles. And uh, um, my knee is just doing its thing. The kneecap's okay. It's just that you get a lot of atrophy of the muscles and that means that it takes that's the bit that takes a long time to recover from really because your legs really weak and so and growing muscle back as opposed to just strengthening the muscle you've got is actually quite time consuming apparently so uh, we're, we're doing that I do my physio exercises I can walk reasonably well without a crutch although I do look a bit drunk and and I get tired quite easily because of you know the lack of muscle and stuff and uh, so I will take my crutch with me if I go further afield and if I go out with someone say to uh, you know where we're going to wander around then it's going to be um, a, a crutch day just because one it reminds me to be careful because I get a bit overconfident uh, two people realize that I'm not drunk and I'm actually walking that way for a reason and three people are more uh, careful around me and uh, will carry trays for me and things when I can't do that and uh, they kind of steer around me a bit whereas I'm a bit frightened of getting jostled if I don't have my crutch with me so um, that's where we are now oh yes I can also drive I can drive short distances and uh, although it's painful I uh, I'm, I'm you know I'm, I'm allowed to go up to a three or four of pain that's just normal and part of the recovery so I it's part of the healing process uh, anything more than that then I stop so I can drive locally but that's pretty much as much as I can do and by the time I've been somewhere and back it's really starting to hurt a bit and I have to stop so and um, talking of pain I'm in pain a lot because it's just you know when I move around it kind of hurts a lot of the time and uh, for anyone who, who's had long-term pain, then you know that it's quite tiring times to have that pain, you know, a lot. And also the asthma thing's still going on. So my chest is kind of playing up a bit at the moment, which makes me really tired too. So the upshot of that is moving into the future of this channel is that I am definitely rebooting it. I've got lots more content to come your way. I will be trying I will be sticking to um, a, a different kind of uh, schedule so whereas before I was posting every Wednesday it's going to be when I can at least once a month and uh, possibly more when I can manage it so uh, look out for the content coming once a month uh, it will be still great how-to content very practical uh, for how you can get be do things more efficiently, how you can achieve more, how can you be happier and healthier and wealthier and do, do what it is you want to do in your life and make that difference that you want to make. So it's going to be lots more of that but also a lot more real talk, a lot more of me sitting here telling you how it really is uh, and talking about what real life is like. So not it's not, not that I wasn't doing that before but I want to really focus on that so that I can connect with you more and therefore make more of a difference because I think it's really important for us to connect. 
and if you have any ideas for something that you would like help with if you've got any sticking points in your life or business where you could do with a bit of a, a shift and you're not quite sure how to do that I'm sure I can find something that would help you and if you write it down in the comments then basically what I'm going to trying to say is someone in our community within the subscribers is going to have that same problem and if I make a video for you then it's going to be helping more people than just you so by getting your question answered or your problem solved you'll be helping other people too and I know that that's important to to my subscribers that they're the kind of people who want to make a difference to other people so it's not just for you even though I'll be making a video for you with content for you it will be helping so many more people and who knows, I might have to do some research about something and find something that helps me. And as I always say, when I'm teaching uh, my clients something new or if I'm teaching you guys something new, when I'm saying it to you, it's because I also need to remember it to have a reminder or it's something I needed to learn. So uh, I'm really grateful to you guys for your um, feedback and comments and anything that helps me to to learn more as well. Uh, let me just check my screwed up notes and see where we are <laughs> screwed up yeah so I think that's it really and with my business I'm looking to kind of scale back my one-to-one -one coaching and I'm working on an online program for business people mostly women I work with to just get started on YouTube because there's a lot of how to use YouTube for your business stuff but uh, I'm creating a course which is basically holding your hand through every single process. Well, how do I do that? Well, here's a step-by-step -step process to get you through that all in one place. So that's what I'm pulling together sort of on the sidelines. Although if my computer's dead, I don't know how I'm going to do that. But hey, let's worry about that tomorrow. And I'm also looking at introducing a group coaching program because I feel like I can help more people and make more of a difference that way. Better use of my time and I can impact on more people. So that's what I've got coming in my business. And so some of that might come into my content for you as well, if you find that helpful. And I think that's everything I wanted to share with you. I'm This is slightly different to the video I recorded yesterday because, you know, that's how things go. Um, and I think I said in the, oh yeah, one thing I mentioned in the, uh, the previous video is here I am, you know, again, um, I haven't done my hair and I've got no makeup on and it feels a bit weird because normally I would you know, put some slap on before I do a video. Don't know why, uh, because you guys don't really come here to see what I look like. You come here to learn great tips on how to live a better life and be happier. So I don't know why I got so hung up on that. And um, because of the uh, because I've had this asthma thing going on and then because I was really immobile for ages, you know, I've been on steroids for the asthma, which make you put on weight and sort of uh, make your face sort of bloat out and uh, made my hair thinner and things like that there's a lot of physical things that have happened that have made me feel um, not so happy about how I look and uh, maybe that was partly contributing to me not making videos too however as I just said you, know, you guys don't care what I look like I'm pretty sure uh, as long as you get the content well, here I am just me au naturel <laughs> except I do have clothes on thank goodness and uh, and hopefully that um, the stuff that's coming out in the future will be really helpful to you as as always so uh, one other thing I said in my other video and you know it's a shame because it's a really good video <laughs> is that this is your channel so even though it's got my name on it and I make the content I make it for you and if you guys didn't watch it there'd be no point in me making it so it'd be uh, active in the comments and tell me what you want what you need help with or if you're worried about um, privacy if you don't want people to know what your problems are then you can always message me or email me my email address is always in the description I'm going to do my best to do that I don't know how to do it from my phone but hey we'll get there so uh, you can contact me somehow uh, uh, personally if you need to rather than just putting in a YouTube comment if that works for you so uh, do tell me what I can do to help you guys because it, like I say it's your channel this is all for you this the content is here to help you and it's all very well me making videos that I want to make but what's the point I need to make videos that you guys need and uh, I'd love to do more of that so do let me know make sure you comment so that's it. I think I've covered everything I covered in the other video, other brilliant video. 
this. I can see it's like I can, the corner of my eye. I can see it's kind of lagging and stuff. So I'm so sorry about the quality. The sound's probably awful. I've got no idea. But uh, I'm just doing my best and getting it out there. And that's just the way it is today. And uh, and that thing at the back there, it says I am back, uh, although it's reversed because of the way the camera is. So, hey, another thing that hasn't worked right. <laughs> Well, here we are doing it anyway. So it just remains for me to say, uh, have a wonderful day. Make sure you give this video a like if it has been either entertaining or weird or, um, or helpful in any way. Make sure you comment below with your ideas for co content and what would be helpful for you. Or check out the description and drop me an email or a Facebook message and let me know. So have a fabulous day and I'll speak to you in the next video. Bye.